storefront on Broadway is always full of mannequins, typically wearing provocative clothing, but there's a noticeably empty space in the window. It just broke him, honestly, taking a hard fall. The manager of the Manhattan Romantic Depot talks about this crime captured on surveillance video. A man in his 40s kicked a window where there was a display of an Obama mannequin dressed as Santa and a Trump mannequin in a MAGA hat. When kicking wouldn't break the window, the man trespassed onto the construction site next door, took a cinder block, and smashed the window, removing and damaging the likeness of the ex-president. He didn't even run. He walked, and then when we called out to him, he was like, did you do that? He didn't deny it. He said, yes, it was him. You see at the bottom of your screen some employees leave to track the man down. When they brought him back to waiting cops, the man gave his motive. That Barack Obama was talking to him, and he didn't like what Barack Obama was saying. Not damaged in the January 26th incident here, the Trump mannequin, which is now in the basement. Now, in full disclosure, I live in this neighborhood and have had at least one neighbor complain about this store doing business in a largely residential neighborhood. But this attack appears to not have anything to do with complaints about the store. Since then, a lot of people have been supporting us more. Like, they, they, they came to see if we were okay, and then they got to see inside the store, seeing it wasn't that bad, and they actually came to shop more. Oh, I don't mind at all. Residents who talked with us expressed support for the store. I don't mind. I've been there before. But surprise over what happened. That's crazy. That's crazy. And they said it cost $1,000 to replace that window. Police arrested and charged 41-year-old Ruel Altanaga with criminal mischief. No word from store management whether or not they will try again to replace the presidential mannequins in the window. Reporting live from Hamilton Heights, Harlem, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.